In this video, we're going to go over how to pack a surgical kit. So this kit that I'm packing right now is just a small stitch kit. I am missing a couple of instruments, but this is just purely for kind of example. First, I'm going to lay down a larger drape and then a smaller drape within. I'm going to collect all my instruments. So first of all, I've got four tower clamps. I've got two Kryl artery forceps. These are curved versions. And your kits will vary depending on your vets as well, what they want in them. A set of Mayo scissors. This is a straight version. We've got a scalpel handle. And number four is usually the most common size. We've got a dissecting forceps. And straight teeth across, and we've got an adsin tissue faucet, which is just a smaller kind of end. So making sure that your drapes have been properly lint rolled and they are free of any kind of debris, they're freshly washed and there's no hair on them. What I usually do is grab my instruments kind of tallest to shortest and bundle them together because this isn't a very large kit, it is it doesn't have that many instruments in it, so it's not that in depth. Sometimes I would thread a scalpel handle or a pair of forceps through the handle of those scissors and the um, artery forceps. But for this one, I'm just going to neatly pack them together. Your clinic will vary on how they like their kits packed. The most important thing is that this packing of the kit is done in a sterile environment and that no external kind of instruments, plastics, um, debris ends up in the kit before you are closing it up. So now we're going to start our concertina wrap. So concertina is just a folding back and forth. I always place my hand over the center of the kit when I'm in the middle of going back and forth with the concertina. So back towards me, back again, and then towards me going back to the center, holding it and folding to my side and folding again. It's the concertina fold is kind of like an accordion. It kind of folds back and forth on itself. This makes it easy for when the surgeon opens up the kit to grab the edges and it kind of unfolds all outwards. When I'm getting to this section, I'm going to grab a blue hand towel, make sure that it has been lint rolled, um, fold it down to match the size of the inner kit. And now I'm going to fold the larger drape. The hand towel in the middle section is good handy because when the surgeon opens up the kit, they can then grab the hand towel and dry their hands after they've sterilely surgically scrubbed their hands. See my hand is going back to the middle holding it there because sometimes this can get a little bit difficult with the drape going everywhere. So now pull nice and tight and now I start my concertina coming towards me. Pull out the edges, make sure they're all kind of lining up and then back towards. Folding out and once you have washed the drape set a few times and sterile sterilize them they will kind of form a indentation in the drapes which makes doing this concertina easier because you can kind of follow the lines i'm going back towards the wall again making sure that's putting together nice and tightly make sure it's nice and secure we want it to be nice and small and secure so we can fit it into the order club along with other kits and instruments folding towards me and back towards the wall again in that same concertina the whole time The surgeon will then be able to grab the smallest kind of concertina fold at the top of this when they open this kit, pull it up and back down to the direction that it is folding. I see that that small kind of concertina that the surgeon can grab, hold in the middle still, and we're going to fold each side to kind of make it into that parcel fold, making sure it's nice and tight and it's nice and small. So I'm going to grab the very end and I'm going to fold to the furthest to my left, folding it at the instruments. 
keeping it nice and tight and secure. And I'm going to concertina again, folding back to my right. And again, going back to my left. So they've got that one to open with when they open the kit too. And now with this one, because I don't want my concertina on the outside when we are having this, the kit in the autoclave and when it's being stored. So with this one, I'm going to kind of pack it all to, uh, together. So I'm going to fold this edge inwards towards the instruments and kind of half it. It's a little bit difficult with where the camera was. Um, folding it right in and then folding it over again to kind of pull the whole kit together, like so. I would then use autoclave tape, um, a decent amount that it's not going to pop open while it's in the autoclave. And I would go from about the middle of that kit around to hold that down, like that. I would make sure I put my initials, the date and what kit. I have just wrapped. Make sure all this, as much information as you possibly can, make sure to write it on that tape. If you are packing your surgical kit in an autoclave bag, which is quite common, you would probably use tape and then pack it into an autoclave bag. So this is the Milpedge Milpack autoclave bag. This comes with a sterility strip that you can attach into your kit. And when you open your kit, it will um, indicate whether it has been sterilized properly. Super useful in clinic, especially if you've got an older autoclave or um, you just want to check that it is sterilizing your instruments properly. So your vet is going to open, you're going to open in surgery this end. So you need to insert the kit into the bag with this end at that end so that they can just grab that section. If they were to open it and this is the first thing that comes out, it gets a little bit messy. It's just kind of increases the risk of them dropping an instrument, dropping the whole kit and kind of it's just unorganized. So we want the closed end to go in first with the sterility strip. The same on the autoclave bag, I would want to put uh, the date, my initials and the kit that I have packed and also really important if you are packing swabs in there to write down on the kit how many swabs you've put in there. Seal it off and store it ready to go into the autoclave. This is where you would put all your details. So then you would hand it to, when you're opening your bag in surgery. The same with surgical instruments. We do not want to insert them so that the, the pointed end or the, use, the end that they use on the patient is facing outwards. This can cause injury. We want it to, hand, to angle so that when we open the bag for the surgeon, they can grab them by the handle. We stock a full range of surgical instruments. They come in individual kits or individual instruments. And we also stock surgical drapes, both normal and fenestrated. 